Hi everyone, we will now consider the mode bus holding registers read and write instructions. The MF3 is the mode bus function number 3 for reading holding registers from a mode bus sleeve. It is also like the MF1 instruction but reads integer variables. The offset starting from 0 to 99 corresponds to I.1 to I.100 integer variables in the mode bus sleeve. The retrieved value will be a changing value of the sleeve PLC SPWM ACC. The value will be compared for equal with 1, 2, 3 and 4 and indicated on arrow.1, arrow.2 arrow.3 and arrow.4. Upload the code to the master PLC. The SPWM in the slave PLC should have the on parameter set to 5 and the off set to 1. The ACC value of the SPWM is copied into integer variable i.1 to be made available for the mode bus operation. Set the baud rate and the mode bus address to be the same as the MF3 instruction of the master PLC. Then upload the code to the slave PLC. Using similar circuits from the last video, a 4 channel relay module is connected to arrow.1 to arrow.4 of the mode bus master and then to 4 indicator lamps. With the TX and RX pins of the nanos connected, observe that the indicator lamps are turned on and off one after the other. For writing to a slave holding register, move the relay connection from the mode bus master to the slave. Then connect a push button switch to S.1 of the master PLC. MF6 is the mode bus function number 6 for writing to a holding register in a mode bus sleeve. The offset value from 0 to 99 as in MF3 corresponds to I.1 to I.100 in the sleeve PLC. Insert a rung above with a contact, a one-shot rising and a counter. The contact variable is S.1 and the counter preset is 5. The counter should reset to 0 when the preset is 5. The counter ACC value is then copied to I.1. OSC instruction from the data instruction group is placed here to manage data change on the slave workload. For the slave PLC, four equal instructions with coils on each rung will compare for equal the value from the master PLC and turn on and off the indicators on arrow.1 to arrow.4. This can be seen when the respective codes are uploaded to the master and slave PLCs. Thanks for watching. Click on the like button if this video is helpful and share your thoughts in the comment section. See you in the next video.